each chapter, Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. Once upon a time, high up in the mountains, there lived a young bear who was extremely lazy. He hadn't made any repairs to his house all year. Now that the cold days were coming, his prospects for a cozy winter were looking dim. I can't stand this! I'm gonna suffocate! <laughs> Have you fixed that chimney yet? Where's the path? These weeds are so thick it's impossible to find it. When are you going to clean this up? Uh, I bought you those tiles months ago. Why are they still piled up in the yard where I left them? And just what am I supposed to do with them? Hmm? Have it your way. I got things to do now, but I'll be back later to help you fix things up. So if I move the chimney to the other end of the house... Ah! <laughs> 
What do you mean? Some place where I don't have to work. What do you want? Why are you cutting my tree? I need a new chimney for my house, and this hollow trunk is perfect. But this is my house. Just like the trunk you destroyed along with your house this morning. If you didn't want it, you could have given it to me. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You help me saw off this piece, and you can have the rest. Hmm? But I'll never be able to keep the wind out that way. Hmm. Well, that's my offer. Hey, stop hey. that saw! Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, forget it. Friends again? <laughs> Listen. If you bring me another hollow trunk, you can keep this one, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> If 
if you don't come out now, you are gonna regret it. Okay. Go away! <laughs> All right, I warned you. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way home sooner or later. Welcome back. What's this you have behind you? It's the door to the trunk I was living in. You must be freezing. I tied it to my back to keep it closed when the fox tried to saw the trunk. But the wind blew it away. It was so scary. Well, now we got it off. Come on inside. You can tell me all about what happened after we get you warmed up. The bear. 
How is the bear classified in the animal kingdom? The bear belongs to the mammalia class, the carnivora order, and the ursidae family. It's a large animal with a heavy set body and short, strong legs. Each foot has five toes, and each toe ends in a non retractable claw. How many species are there, and where do they live? It's necessary to distinguish between the white polar bear, which lives in the circumpolar Arctic region, and brown bears, which belong to several different species and live in parts of Europe, Asia, and in America. No bears live in the wild state in Africa and Australia. How do they live? Almost all bears are solitary animals, each one living on its own, gathering with its own kind only during the mating season. Usually, the bear will pass the day in its den, only going out after dusk. During the winter, bears spend most of the time in a kind of lethargy, without eating and drinking. How do they move? Because of their size, bears are not fast movers. But in compensation, they have great resistance to fatigue and can walk for long distances at a time. They can stand on their hind legs and even climb trees. What do they eat? The brown bear is usually omnivorous, eating many kinds of food, while the polar bear is an exclusively meat-eating animal and feeds mostly on seals and fish. How do they protect themselves? Because of their size, fully grown bears seldom need to defend themselves against natural predators. How do they relate to people? Bears and people don't get along very well. The bear has always been a favorite prey for hunters and occasionally causes damage to crops and kills livestock. However, bears will not attack people unless they're wounded or feel threatened. Can they live in the city? Bears can only live in the city in captivity. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is that being lazy never pays and sometimes makes you work twice as hard. <laughs> oh, look who's coming!